Okay, so in the last one, I showed you just setting up three basic properties, but now we're just going to run over why using a name and relying on object names is not a good idea. So, like, so we have the camera, and I think I've given it a weird name. We'll just rename this back to camera. So, if the user stores a object in here and moves it, rotates it, stores another one, moves it, rotates it, um, everything works. Uh, everything works fine because we stored the camera name as a property but now if the user comes over to the outliner and renames this to something else now nothing else uh, nothing works because the name that we stored was captured at the time that it was added to this collection and the user since then has changed the name so now this actually has the wrong name and we can see down here that if we print um, using a little setup that the name that was stored this one here is still camera but that's the object name now. So what we can do instead of relying on object names is we can switch out this string property for a pointer and under name for your property we just change this to pointer. Uh, you need a data type for it. I think by default <coughs> it's set to scene which will be just pointers to a scene but we need it to be set to object so we can point to objects. And now if we just get rid of that, now because its value is a pointer, we need to change this to pointer. And we can use the active object name, we're just setting the label, which is sweet. But instead, for um, capturing what object we're referring to, we'll just use a pointer straight to the active object. So now whatever um, object is active, when we store this, it'll store a pointer to the object. and now the name is irrelevant and a pointer will always point directly to the object's ID. Blender keeps track of um, all items, all objects, sorry, uh, by like an internal ID and that's what this pointer references. So we could even just change this now, instead of being name, we could just change it to object. And now with this pointer, we just need to correct up here that um, originally we were using a name to set these properties. And we can just change these to property now. So it's just a pointer telling which object to set the location and rotation for. So now we grab our camera, add an item, rotate it, move it, and one more time. Now this still works, and if the user changes the name, it doesn't matter because we're just pointing directly to an object rather than relying on its object name. So this is a much more reliable method for like why names aren't usually a good idea to store. Like some things you can store names for if you know that the name will never change or something like say if you set up a, a shader node tree um, and you're adding a node that will always have a specific name you could just use names but it's always best to use pointers to things and um, the only downside to that is that once you start working with bones and that sort of thing you actually find that there is um, like a pointer to an armature but not an actual bone itself so that's when you would have to rely on bone names and that sort of thing or find some sort of workaround anyway but um, yeah, just for general objects, um, use pointers instead of names for objects. And um, yeah, that just covers you if the user ever changes the name of an object. And hopefully that should give you a pretty good understanding of like just what a pointer is. And why you should use them. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this one short. This is more like a follow-up video to the last one. And I'll make a part three for this where we start covering like how we can add a collection, have a collection within a collection of objects. So like say if you wanted to store selected objects in one container, um, we'll cover that next. Right, I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.